So what I have here is something very interesting. This is a kit that was given to me by Mushkin, one of the companies that I have had the blessings to work with. Now this is a set of 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM clocked in at 3600 megahertz, which is great because this is one of the sweet spots for my Ryzen processor. But what makes this kit even more special is the fact that this, unlike the majority of RAM kits, has ECC memory built in. Let's talk about this. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And this video is a very unique one for me because typically I like to get to the point and not bore you with the details of the content that I like to provide. But this one is very special to me because Mushkin is allowing me to talk about one of their products that not only are they proud of, but it's something that not a lot of companies have fully emulated as of now. So this, what I have in my hand is a kit of ECC RAM. Now, what is ECC? Linus actually made a very descriptive video early this year on ECC memory, and I will have that link below because he did an awesome job breaking it down. But in a nutshell, ECC stands for error correction code. And what that means is that it protects your system from random crashes and changes in your data by automatically correcting errors. Now, typically in systems and servers that compile tons of data at a time, and even for those who have big media projects or you need to run big simulations, ECC memory helps them make sure that everything is running smoothly with no hiccups. Now, typically non-ECC RAM, like the ones that we use today, don't really pose a problem to the general public. And to us gamers, there is virtually little possibility that we would be playing a game and our system would crash because of an error passing through our RAM. This probably won't happen to your rigs ever, but it's still a definite possibility. So for your typical gaming rig, it's not something of absolute importance to have ECC memory because it's something that we haven't had for a very long time, but it's something that can help us give us a peace of mind. Now, at the time of writing this video, Intel has already launched their Alder Lake processors, which introduces the new DDR5 platform. And DDR5 has ECC memory baked into their modules as a standard. So this is something that going forward will be the new normal for everyone. But I know most of us won't be jumping ship to Alder Lake as of yet, and we'll be satisfied with the current rigs that we have. Or if you are looking to buy the current DDR4 kits in the market, should you get the ECC memory kits? Well, what I have here is the Mushkin Redline memory kit. It is 32 gigabytes of RAM clocked in at 3600 megahertz with CL latency of 16, and this is an ECC memory kit. This is actually important because normal DDR4 kits with ECC aren't overclocked out of the box. You will typically see ECC enabled RAM with speeds of under 3200 megahertz, most likely at 2666. But this one is one of the first kits to come overclocked. Let me say that again. Mushkin is one of the first, if not the first company to introduce an overclocked ECC RAM kit to the market. Pretty cool, right? What I'm going to do is do a quick comparison with my current kit, G-Skill's own Trident Z Royal. It's a 32 gigabyte kit clocked in at 3200 megahertz, so I know I will definitely have a performance increase. Something that I've been wanting to do to upgrade anyway, but I wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. One, AMD is the only chip maker that allows you to use ECC memory in their motherboards, F enabled, as opposed to pre alder Lake chips on the Intel platform, which doesn't. And two, is there anything else you should know about this kit? So let's check out some quick results I've compiled to show you how it compares.
So as you guys can see, I am getting a slight performance boost, but not as much as you think for two main reasons. One, I'm running this at 1440p ultra wide, and two, ECC memory can affect performance up to one to 2%, but either way, I'm still getting a very nice performance increase. So looking at the numbers, it's pretty clear that I am personally getting a performance uplift with this new kit, which makes sense because I'm running it at a higher frequency from 3200 to 3600. But I know that most people who have RAM at 3600 megahertz, CL16, whatever, whatever, would have a similar number in this configuration. So what is the point? The point isn't performance, it's actually stability. Even though the chances are that you won't be getting crashes from the things that you do every day, the possibility is still out there. It can happen, and it has happened to a number of you over the years. I mean, no one wants to see the blue screen of death, but we all know what it is because we have probably seen it once or twice. So is getting ECC worth it? Well, it depends because it's hard for me to give it an actual test or I know I can show it how it corrects itself when there's actual errors happening in your system. For workstations and servers, it's definitely crucial. But for us gamers, it's a bit of a mixed bag, at least for me, because you want the best performing components for the money. Adding ECC on your RAM can bring up the cost, typically from about 10 to 20%. But in this case, the performance is now on par with the reliability. I think that it's a great thing to have as it gives you a peace of mind and better protection. And I am one for it if your system can support it. It's not a must have because it's something that we haven't had in our gaming rigs for a very long time, but it's definitely something that you should consider moving forward. And because the next generation is standardizing this feature, you should definitely be aware of it more. Now, this ECC RAM kit from Mushkin is very essential and extremely important because you're getting that performance that you would normally get with the added benefit of having that error correction code enabled in this kit, allowing you to have that peace of mind and of course, not have to worry about crashes and figuring out why. This kit will correct these issues, and if it ever has issues, you can always check it in the PC Average History Log, which gives you an even more information and a peace of mind. Now, I wasn't really told anything about the pricing for this kit, but I know that non-ECC kit variants are running for less than $120, and that's for the 32 gigabyte kit. I know that the pricing won't be far off from that, but I will update you in the comments below when I get that info. But even at a small premium of let's say 15, maybe $20 at most, this kit gives you the best of both worlds, performance and stability. Something that us PC builders always want for a peace of mind and with Mushkin being the first to actually deliver this to the masses, this will certainly spread around the industry. I want to thank Mushkin so much for sending this out to me. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we will see you all in the next one.